All right, so this will probably be a multiple part video, you guys. Um, <clears throat> not sure how I'm gonna break this down. I uh, just wanted to come out and start talking about it. So, um, born and raised in Texas. Went to the military right out of high school. I was uh, forward deployed Naval Forces at Yokosuka, Japan. And I was on the USS John S. McCain, DDG-56. We called it the Big Bad John. And uh, I was there from 09, sorry, 2010. I got there late 09 through uh, 2013. And in my time over there, I have seen and done a lot of things, good and bad. And uh, by that, I guess I'll start with saying that in March of 2011, there was Operation Tomodachi because a 9.1 earthquake struck off the coast of Japan, which caused <clears throat> a tsunami that rolled in with, you know, waves over 400 miles an hour and over 100 feet tall, killing and injuring thousands of people. And so I was there for the cleanup and recovery and trying to save people uh, in part with that. So it was not a it was not an experience that anybody should have to go through, but it is part of the job. And Mother Nature played a vicious role that day. Uh, we spent the next couple of months looking for survivors and picking up bodies, of the people that didn't make it. And, uh, you know, the disaster was catastrophic. Uh, it also caused the reactor at Fukushima to erupt or explode, which caused nuclear radiation. And so, like many others, my fellow service members and the civilians of Japan, uh, we're all part of a registry for Operation Tomodachi because of the nuclear exposure. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, a glow in the dark That'd be a lot cooler, but it does mean that I, like many others there, could be exposed to, uh, or sorry, a higher risk of having cancer and things like that because of it. Um, so yeah, I definitely have PTSD from that that I deal with every day. Um, just seeing the bodies floating in the water, you know, screams, things like that. So it was not a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I also received a Navy achievement medal. Uh, along with several other medals and stuff when I was in and this one was for saving my ship during a combat fuel fire <clears throat> that happened uh, about 300 miles off the coast of China I think is where we were but uh, I was on watch I went down to the engine room and uh, we had about 21,000 gallons of jet fuel that erupted from one of the bilge tanks that we had back there and uh, I spent probably two hours trying to put that out and contain that with uh, AFFF, which is Aquas Force Filling Foam, and uh, which is also cancerous, as we know now. But, uh, yeah. So, that's just a little backstory about my time in the military, about PTSD, and uh, I wear this bracelet every day because 22 veterans take their life from PTSD every day. They commit suicide because they can't deal with it. And so if you're a veteran, if you're watching this, 
or you know a veteran that is watching this, um, please reach out to me. And if I can help in any way, I sure will. Just somebody to talk to. Or I can point you in the right direction for further assistance. If you haven't already found that. Because I know what it's like to not want to talk about that. It took me a lot of years to finally talk about it openly. And, uh, yeah, you're not alone. We're here. You know, just like I had your back in the military, I got your back now. It never changes. My oath never expires. Um, I think I'm going to cut this off at the at just the military experience with this video. In the next video I can talk about some other things like my traumatic brain injury and my journey into strongman and how all that went. And uh, yeah, we can talk about some other things. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I certainly appreciate it. And it just helps me, you know, get more videos out there and get more views. Uh, so that people may see this. And, uh, yeah. So, again, uh, as part of the 7th Fleet for Deployed Naval Forces at Ikusu, Japan, DDG-56, USS John S. McCain, or Big Bad John as we called her. And, uh, yeah, PTSD sucks, but you're not alone. And, on that note, you don't have to be in the military to have PTSD. I mean, you can have PTSD from anything. Um, I know lots of people that are not in the military that struggle with PTSD because of something they went through that was traumatic. It's a traumatic event that you went through. And uh, there are several levels of PTSD. And there's always another option versus taking your own life. There's always another option. Somebody wants you here. Somebody wants you here. I want you here. So don't do anything stupid. Reach out to somebody to talk to somebody. Leave me a comment. Talk to me. You know, I can point you in the right direction again if you need further help. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to cut that off here. I hope you guys are having a really good day. And I will check you later.